Cooks to Scary Good Drinks. The professional mixologist team at Assemble Cocktail share some easy to make Halloween drink recipes that will shock and awe at your next party. owner of Assemble Cocktail Workshop. Today we're going to get festive and make three Halloween cocktails. First up, we're going to make a dark side mule. This is going to be a play on a bourbon buck. Um, so it's going to have bourbon in it, a little bit of activated charcoal with ginger syrup, and some fresh lime juice. First up, we're going to do a small spoonful of activated charcoal. This is going to give that depth and, and dark color. Then I have our honey ginger syrup. I'm just gonna mix in a little bit, just to get that dark color. All right, let's build the cocktail. So we're gonna put some nugget ice down in this cocktail glass. Um, and this charcoal is really fun. It's actually kind of a medicinal thing. It, it's, it's known to absorb toxins in your body, so I guess it's perfect to throw into a cocktail. All right, so first up, the bourbon will go straight on in over that chipped ice. And we'll measure out about three quarters of an ounce of this fiery ginger syrup with the charcoal and some good quality ginger beer. A couple dashes of aromatic bitters. People are always asking about bitters. It's really just a spice cabinet to your, your bar. Um, so you use it in the same way that you would use salt and pepper for food. Use bitters for your cocktails. Give that a nice little stir. And we'll add some freshly candied ginger, maybe a little sprig bouquet of mint. When you're using mint, you wanna kinda wake it up a little bit, get some of those aromas. <laughs> get some of those aromas flowing, get those oils released. Garnish is so important, especially when you're doing a Halloween cocktail, because this is gonna taste just like a regular bourbon buck um, or Kentucky mule, however you wanna say it. Um, but the garnish really elevates it and takes it to that next level. The final, final garnish on this is gonna be freshly grated nutmeg. All right, and there you have a dark side mule. All right, now we're gonna make a Midori Sour. It's gonna be this bright green color with Japanese um, melon liqueur. It's gonna be two full ounces of the Midori. All right, and then some egg white. This is pasteurized egg white from a carton. About three quarters of an ounce and one ounce of lime juice. There's not gonna be any added sugar to this because the, the melon liqueur, the Midori, already has quite a bit of sugar in it. So then we're just gonna go ahead and pour it over ice and give it a really nice shake. So then we wanna achieve this really nice foam inside. We're gonna double strain this in, make sure that no ice shards get in. So here's that Midori Sour. So for this last cocktail, we're gonna be using a blood orange cordial uh, made by Lieber & Co. It's a company out of Austin and they just do great syrups. So this is a versatile one. Uh, you can use gin or bourbon. This time we're using gin. It's gonna be two ounces straight on in the shaker tin. Three quarters of an ounce of this blood orange cordial. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon. Three dashes of peach bitters and a couple drop or eh, a couple drops of aromatic bitters. And with that, we're just gonna do a dash of cinnamon. We're gonna give this a good shake and then we're gonna strain it into our double rocks glass. And if you have it, you'll wanna use a big ice cube. A little freshly grated nutmeg. It's one of my favorite garnishes. And this is the, the party trick here. This is the Flavor Blaster Mini. Then a little bit of expressed orange peel. You wanna go actually peel side down, right over the top, that'll get some those orange oils on there. And I have one that I trimmed up. I'll just go ahead and put it as a flag on the side. And I just love making cocktails and connecting with people in the community. I just wanna break down barriers um, about cocktail making. It should never be a pretentious thing. Anybody can do it. As long as she's there, 
yes. playing bartender. So, hey, Assemble Cocktail Workshop hosts parties and date nights for all occasions. You can even hire them, there we go, to showcase their skills at your next event. For more information, all you have to do is head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen.